more lubrication in it. There was lubrication, but already after two months, the lubricant had gone out of the barrel. Okay, but when this was first put in, did you start by giving it lubrication to gain a little extra a few weeks or, or no? Uh, all the barrels are lubricated from the beginning. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. But because of the cleaning, uh -huh. it disappears pretty fast. Uh -huh. so but does it give you an extra week or two maybe? No, no. What really gives us uh, the extra time is uh, the way we build the bearings. So why do you lubricate them at all? A good question, because normally mm -hmm. that will uh, extend the lifetime, but at rock wool. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Rock wool is so a special place. was a dirty place. And it's a special place. Uh, <laughs> actually, you can say that the water is also lubricating the bearing, because uh -huh. every time uh -huh. the chain goes down to the, to the basement, uh -huh. it, get, it, get, uh, it gets washed with, uh, with water and some kind of soap. Is that the, to keep it clean or to keep it cool? To keep it uh, clean. Uh -huh. So this is after 16 months. No, 13. 13, 13 months. months. And this is after... Three months. And you don't, you don't have a bearing. Jesus. And this was after... Two months. Here you have the balls on this one. The you balls are all flopping around though. Yeah, you can, you can spin it a little bit. I mean, it's not now it's not working. But I tell you, in one, two days, yeah, now it's down again. Yeah. And this one's got no balls at all. Exactly. No balls at all. So no comment about that. And here you can't see them because they're in there. They're still in there. What, what? Okay, so this is 13 months. This is 13 months, yeah. And what is this middle one then? It's also 13 months. Wow. And the last one is also 13 months. And here you can see some different signs. Uh -huh. And this is actually what we have oh, oh i see this is it's a little hard to see in the picture but this is actually a square here you can see like a pound key on the telephone yeah. and number two a number two two roman numeral two yeah and this is a triangle roman number numeral two. two and this is triangle number one wow so these two the only difference on these two has been a lubricant the but cages the seals has been the same so the hardware is the same, but they're greased with different stuff. Exactly. And, and, and what you see here is that the result is the same, no matter what kind of lubricant we have uh, used. Because this rock is a dirty place. Exactly. I thought you were going to say you put lubricant in because they expect it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like washing the car before you sell it. Okay. So um, you said there are a thousand different kinds of lubricants. Yeah. So, you once said there were like millions of possibilities, it's just not, uh, putting a, a bearing together. When we uh, developed this uh, bearing for Rockwell, it yeah. took, uh, took the original chain length, mm -hmm. took it apart and yeah. saw what we could do. Yeah. What we can change is uh, the cage, yeah. the ball retainer, yeah. we can change the seals, yeah. the clearance. Yeah. And also the lubricant. Yeah. Furthermore, we can have uh, different coatings. Yeah. On the raceways, if you have too much uh, water around, it can corrode. Then we have different coatings that can prevent that. Are they ceramic coatings? It's kind of ceramic, but some of the some of them are diamond-like carbon coatings. Some are chrome coatings. Hmm. So if we took all the coatings, you could end up with uh, five million combinations on a bearing. So this is, uh, you know, you start to, so the circles and the balls, different sizes, and you're down to what you call mura, right? Yeah. Microns. Microns? Yeah. And a micron is a, a, a fraction of a millimeter? Exactly. It's uh, one thousandth of a millimeter. So you get into those kind of tolerances. Exactly. Different lubricants, different rolls of balls. Different cage material. Yeah. And also how much grease is added to the bearing. In the spaceships in NASA, they use bearings made of 100% ceramics. In some applications. In some applications. But ceramic speed doesn't do that yet. No. But you could, or is that... We, we could do that, but... Uh, there's uh, some advantage with uh, with all ceramic. It's, uh, it's lighter, since mm -hmm. you don't have any steel. Yeah. But it uh, cannot really handle with shock and hard impacts. Uh -huh. Because you cannot center the raceways like you can with the ceramic balls. You can't center them? No, you cannot center the raceways. 
so they will not be as hard as the balls and uh, when you have sharp impacts uh, mm-hmm. they can actually uh, failure they can actually break they can crack exactly so that's the brittleness that could happen with the raceways with but the not raceways, with the balls but never the balls because the balls are sintered so the material is uh, is more compressed okay that's pretty exciting that's the rock thing. that's one of my favorites